Now, the executive chef of Wolfgang Puck's Michelin star steakhouse cut in Beverly Hills. Please welcome Chef Ari Rosenson. Chef, welcome. Chef, how are you? Good to see you. Chef Ari is a really great chef. He knows exactly what a steakhouse um, steak is supposed to look like and what it's supposed to taste like. So this is not going to be easy. Ashley, Ariel, Kristen, bring all three steaks forward. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. As I'm seeing the other girls' dishes in front, I'm like, wow, they have a lot more going on than I do. But I think my plate says steakhouse all over it. Vision, how does that look? They look very different. Although they're steak on a plate, technically, they're all presented with a unique vision in mind. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Let's begin with Ashley. Uh, please describe your dish to Chef. What I did for you today is a southwestern style filet. I rubbed it with pasilla pepper and smoked chili powder. And the side that I have for you is a grilled poblano pepper. And the veg that I have is all sauteed in chipotle butter, so that all three components combine really well. My dish looks sexy, just like me, so I know that I am ready to go. You definitely left the steak in the foreground, let it speak for itself, which is cooking is what a steak is all about. Thank you. The pepper is a little bit undercooked. Okay. It definitely needs to like maybe cook with the steak and baste it a little bit or braise it even. Uh, great effort. Perfectly cooked in the middle. Thank yeah. you, Chef. Uh, good. What a great start. Ariel, please describe your dish to Chef. Chef, I'll start with the steak. I did a roasted garlic and poblano pepper butter for the corn. So some of the oil that was left over from the garlic, I poured over the steak to kind of baste it. Um, I also put some of the butter on the steak and some grilled pineapple. And then the other side is spaghetti squash with a cipollini onion and bacon vinaigrette with some fennel as well. Wow, good flavor. Beautifully seasoned. The temperature on the protein is spot on. Absolutely. The squash is delicious. There's a lot going on there. There is a lot in that little dish, but that's, I wanted to have a lot of flavor. Overall, yeah. well executed. Strong effort. Thank you, Chef. Kristen, please describe your dish to Chef. I have a bacon and gorgonzola potato puree, and I have a grilled asparagus, just seasoned with salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic shallot, and my ribeye with a red wine dummy, grilled and finished in a cast iron for a little bit more char. Beautifully cooked. Wow, delicious. This has got to be a good thing. Like, he's drooling over my ribeye right now. <laughs> Definitely. Caramelization on both sides, flavor through and through. It's very difficult to nail potatoes. That's why it's a sign of a good chef is a great potato dish. Now, Chef Ari, I mean, these three um, reiterate to me that we have definitely got the three most talented chefs in this competition. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Three good efforts. Yeah. Um, now for the hard part, Ari, which dish would you prefer? All Kristen did was typical steakhouse, potatoes and veg. I thought outside the box and I did something completely different. I got it. It's a difficult decision. Uh, that's why you're here. I have faith in my dish. It tastes good, and it's the most outstanding compared to everyone else. Uh, ladies, we're struggling. Um, this is down to the tiny detail, because you've nailed the protein. Let's get that right. I'm so nervous. I'm hoping my sides complement it as well as I think they do. Is it Ashley's bone-in filet, Ariel's New York strip, or Kristen's ribeye? Which dish would you prefer? For my flavor profile, the way I like to eat a steak, I would have to say Kristen's ribeye. 